Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794. Now the most notable features on the 1794 is its hard tonneau cover, as well as its parking sensors and its heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this 1794 is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look at the front bumper, you're going to see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your parking sensors as well as your 20 inch chrome alloy wheels. Now taking a look you also have your 1794 batching as well as your chrome accents on your mirrors. You have your power folding mirrors, vortex generators, and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror here, you have your integrated, uh, sorry, uh, integrated signal, and then you also have your blind spot monitoring. So with your blind spot monitoring, you can actually, um, when this actually lights up, you can uh, be rest assured that there's a vehicle right beside you. Now you also have your heated mirrors, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is magnetic gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your brown leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just on your left hand side, you have your power telescopic and tilt steering wheel as well as your mirror controls, power folding mirror button. And then you also have your blind spot marking on and off with your open and close for your power rear window. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls for your driver one and two along with your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now you also have your wood grain trim on your steering wheel as well as accented on your doors and on the inside of your dash and then taking a look at your shift knob as well. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here include your scroll function as well as your back mode select. You have your volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition display and cruise control. Now a couple of the different options on here include your exterior temperature gauge. Now if you actually hit your display button here, you'll see your settings menu as well as a couple of other additional features which include your distance to empty. And if we take a look now at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see in your apps menu, your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. And down below you're going to you're going to have your hazard lights 4x4 selector you also have your heated and cooled front seats with three different settings for both so depending on how hot or how cold you want to be you also have your dual zone climate control settings along with your front and rear defroster located just underneath you'll see your two power outlets as well as your usb and auxiliary matted to a six-speed automatic transmission at the very top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener and digital compass and at the very top, you're going to find your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then the other nice thing is you do have this three-piece bumper. So in the event that you do damage this one section, you just have to replace the one segment. You have your seven and your four pin for your towing located just underneath. You'll find your spare tire. And then you also have some lighting on your left and right hand side just so you can see what you're doing at night. You have your backup camera as well as your lock for your, your tailgate, sorry. And then you have a nice easy lowering tailgate. So the nice thing with that is it comes down very gently rather than coming down really fast and possibly damaging the tailgate itself. Now the other nice thing that comes with this um, 1794 is that you also have an additional set of uh, tires with you. And then the other great thing is you do have the tonneau cover with it as well. So a great example of that is if you don't want your tires to get wet just while you're driving down the road, you can just have your tonneau cover actually folded up covering the back of your bed. Or if you'd like, you can actually fold it up all the way to the front here, just in case you're hauling it a little, something that's a little bit higher. That way it's out of the way and you still have some room for cargo. Now the other nice thing is you do have that uh, bed rail system in there as well. So if you take a look over on your far uh, left or right hand side sorry you're gonna see those uh, bed cleats that you see there that silver piece there so the nice thing with those is that you can actually have them readjusted and placed on whatever um, side of the bed rail system that you would like you can even place them at the very front of the bed rail system there as well just to suit your needs now the other nice thing is you have a couple of areas just cleated on your left right front and back side where you can tie down any loose cargo just so it's not shifting around just while you're in transit 
Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Toyota Tundra 1794, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.